It's the start of a 13-hour trip from Sharfleet Creek on the Medway to the Thames Barrier at Woolwich. The tide will help us with the flood taking us all the way up to the Thames Barrier and the ebb bringing us back to the Medway. Powering our way into the Medway at Garrison Point is the GPS Racier with barge. She is proceeding to the Isle of Grain ballast berth to load granite for the Thames. Here we see the sailing barge Edith May, which is outward bound from the Thames to Lower Hallstow on the Medway. We have now crossed over the Yantlet Channel to the North Shore to be able to view and video the container ships at the London Gateway. Botnia Seaways, outward bound from Tilbury 2, she was previously on the Sheerness to Calais service. Alongside the London Gateway is the Hamburg Sud Cap St Augustine, a 119,000 tonne deadweight and built in 2013. Also alongside is the Mare's Cambridge, a 150,000 tonne gross and built in 2022. Work is ongoing on the western extension of the London Gateway and it is hoped to be completed with cranes arriving in the early 2024. Recently acquired by GPS from Bennett's Tugs, the Stephen B. The Colborough Fret Ferry Adeline, outward bound from the Thames, from Fords Dagenham. Outward bound from Tilbury Container Terminal is the feeder ship Heinrich. And interesting to note the containers on board with that famous name Ellerman. Approaching Tilbury to a ballast berth, we see the aggregate dredger City of Westminster. We will see her later on when she sails outward bound. Four Baluda tugs can be seen alongside Tilbury Landing Stage. Approaching Northfleet Hope Container Terminal, we see alongside the feeder vessel Container Ships Aurora.
Alongside Tilbury Green Terminal is the bulk carrier Federal Pride on her maiden voyage from Canada to discharge. We are now in St Clement's Reach and in the distance you can see the Dartford Bridge and the Vopac terminals at Purfleet. The Colborne Fret Ferries, a Pauline and Vespertine, are alongside the Purfleet Deep Water Jetty. And here we see the Spitzer Thames alongside the chemical tanker Chemhydra, which is about to proceed outward bound. The bunker barge Helena heading back to Denton near Gravesend. Loading ballast near Dagenham is the GPS Illyria and barge. Here we can see some extensive construction work on the jetties at Stolthaven at Dagenham. More ballast is being loaded onto a barge near Barking and alongside the barge is the GPS Servia. We are now passing the GPS moorings at Woolwich and alongside is the fuel barge dispenser. As we approach the Thames Barrier at Woolwich, we see the Ton Hill 2, a large bulk carrier discharging sugar for Tate and Lyle's refinery. It's now coming up to slack water and we're about to turn around, head back to the Medway, making use of the ebb tide.
passing the Woolwich Ferry, I have included some family photographs taken of the older ferries, the James Newman and the paddlers John Ben and Squires. Approaching Erith Oil Mills, we have an artistic view of seagulls on a rope. Alongside Erith Oil Mill is the coaster Sea Shannon, a regular to the Thames, and I believe she is discharging sunflower seed. Since this photograph was taken, the bus has now been broken up. Approaching the Greenhithe Boys, we see the Polar Rose, and alongside is the recently acquired barge, the Stormvogel, which has now been renamed the Pursuit. Both are employed in the transit of rapeseed from Tilbury Grain Terminal to Erith Oil Mills. Alongside Robin's Wharf is the dredger DC Flanderen 3000, discharging stone chippings. Passing Denton, we come across the Svitsatug mooring pontoons. Recently arrived at the London Gateway is the Nagoya Express and the City of Westminster outward bound. GPS Racia now inbound for the Thames with a loaded rock barge. That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and there will be more to come in the near future. Thanks for watching.